Hello everyone, welcome back to the Homeowner Series. I'm heading home after an early morning class, a car show. I decided to take the 66 Ford Bronco over to it. It was a pretty good turnout. Lots of people were taking pictures of it and there were some other very cool cars. Some farmers brought some old farm trucks and there were also some other pretty cool restored vehicles. Now some old guy did end up offering me a pretty good offer to buy this Bronco. So let me know down below, should we hand over the keys and take the money and buy another toy? Now this morning it is a bit chilly here, I actually have my sweatshirt on, no doors, no windows really on this thing, it's uh, probably not the best thing to be driving around in 60 degree weather almost, but that means uh, winter is just around the corner as the temperature gets to drop in. Now today I do have quite a few things planned here at the house, but why don't we uh, park the Bronco over here, I definitely kind of want to wash it after that, but it was awesome, I don't really take this out to car shows, but today I just thought we have to take it out, and this thing looks so sweet here, just look at the stance of it, maybe uh, we'll take that guy's offer and hand over the keys, but the first thing I really want to show you guys, we now have the winch fully working on the Gladiator, that 25,000 pound winch is now on the front end, which is awesome, really does look uh, pretty cool and definitely adds to it. Now later on today we will be picking up some new wheels here for the Gladiator which will give it a little bit of a higher stance and what I'm thinking is probably a 3 to 4 inch lift kit. I don't want anything too tall because I still want this to be a great daily driver here for us and maybe a spare tire rack here in the bed would be a really a really cool feature here but I think up next why don't we hop here in the GMC. I really want to go pick up those tires. We'll be picking up a few other things and including some shelving because later on today we will be organizing the kind of shed side to the garage there's so much things in there and it needs some organization I'm really excited to be back here with the homeowner series it's yet another great day with uh, the series always so much things to do and we do have some yard work to do later on today jam-packed day like always which is a lot of fun now, if you guys do want the mods that are used here in today's video, go check out my new website down below. They're all found down there, and you guys can easily get all the links for each of the mods. Let's get these doors open up here. Sometimes these are sticky, sometimes they are not here. Looks like this one is a little stickier today. We'll just kind of roll this out of the way here and get the trailer. So we are picking up shelving, which I'm really excited for today. It's some really nice shelving. Uh, we could actually set it up ourselves. We'll be picking up, I believe it is a car jack along with a vacuum. I really do want to vacuum out a few of the vehicles. I hope everyone's been having a fantastic day so far. Let me know how it is down low. My day's been so far pretty good. Now the temperatures have been dropping here which is awesome and one of the best times of the season is to see all the leaves fall here. That's going to be a lot of fun uh, to uh, kind of clean them up as well. Now this GMC AT4 here has been a really nice truck here, really I'm excited to be back behind uh, the wheel here of the Duramax, such a great truck and I will definitely see if I could get the bed cover and the ramps installed during the week. Now with the homeowner series I am trying to be as realistic as possible, I really don't want to buy anything too expensive every single episode and I will be doing improvements around the house. Later on today, I really want to add some more bushes and trees. We have so much open land, I, I really do like having flat land, no trees, but at the same time I think that would really help out the property. Now if you guys have not already, I do recommend you go check out my Instagram, I post every single day over there uh, some pretty cool updates and also uh, sneak peeks about the channel. And here we are, we are going to have one jam packed trailer, what I'm actually thinking is we are going to have to put down the tailgate here and put some inside here, but look at that guys, we have the wheels over here, everything's ready to go, look at that when you buy online, it's all ready to go, curbside pickup, now that is awesome, look at these wheels, these are the wheels that I decided to go with, they're a little bit taller, we have a vacuum here and a car jack, and we also do have this shelf here, now we cannot really adjust uh, the rotation of this shelf, that way, uh, it kind of goes in right so right here seems to be good perfect oh yeah and we should be able to strap these on top and then the uh, tires will go in the back and let's see we'll have to slide this back here always something uh, kind of happens here oh yeah that seems to be good here we should be able to strap these all down but lifting those four tires will be a bit tricky but I can't wait uh, to get these tires on the gladiator 
Now I have been thinking recently the wife has been really liking the Gladiator, so what if we end up selling her Alfa Romeo and just give her the Gladiator? I think that would be such a cool thing to do. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys would like that. So we got that all strapped down, we'll put a few straps if we can. And perfect, so we got all of the straps, should have no problem, but that is one pretty heavy load. Now the wife has been driving some trucks here in the past, including the Ranger Raptor, the F-150 Raptor, and I think we also had a Jeep Rubicon, a two-door way back months and months ago. Now the homeowner series is really popular here on the channel, which is really exciting. It's a very fun series for me, and I can't wait for what's to come here. Now we will be ordering a new sports car. I think we'll order it next week, and then it's going to take a few weeks to come. Maybe you guys uh, can already guess what it is. And yes, we will be trading in the Hellcats, although I really do like the car. I'm not really a big muscle car, kind of straight line speed. I'm a big fan of back roads, and uh, uh, that's just uh, kind of what I am a big fan of here. So maybe... We might already have that brand in our garage, or we do have a brand new brand, so put your guesses down below. Now this uh, 8 by 5 and a half foot wide trailer is really handy here. Really do like it quite a lot. Uh, it's a lot easier than taking the big trailers. You guys can see stacking it a little bit, probably too much, but that's a-okay. And why don't we later on today probably take uh, one of the sport cars for a spin, but we have to wait for the temperatures to warm up uh, because the cars really, really don't like running in the cold weather. But organization today will be a lot of work here, but I'm well excited here for it. So let's head around here, and I think why don't the first thing we do is get those wheels changed on the Gladiator, and then we'll get going on organizing, because this will be lots of organizing. So let's see, just put the tailgate down, and let's get those unloaded. Let's see here, let's get this unstrapped. So one more strap right there, perfect. Awesome, we'll just carry these around here. Now, I would like to kind of roll each tire, but we can't really do that. But that would be so awesome if we could. Let's see if we could get the uh, car jack here perfect. We'll lift this right up and out. Now, this is pretty handy. This was only about $120, $130. Now, we do have a lift, but that's a four-post lift, and we can actually not uh, lift up vehicles with the wheels off. So that's why we have a floor jack. Maybe we could end up getting another jack, but uh, I think uh, for now we should be Good to go, and let's hop in this knot, get the pressure washer. Now, I think maybe next week we will end up actually putting the doors back on. It's just way too cool uh, to be driving this, but wow, this thing looks so cool. Maybe we could also wrap this some big, bright color. I think that might be a pretty fun thing to do. We'll get this pulled over here, right about here seems to be good, and we'll definitely put some wheel chocks there. Let's get going. We'll get this car uh, Jeep jacked up there, and we'll get the tires changed. Just now sliding the jack out and take a look at that guys, the new wheels look awesome here on it, they do come out past the fenders and this thing looks so sweet, just look at this, wow, that does look awesome here. So what we'll do is we'll just kind of move this in, now I did end up uh, deciding to just open up the doors here, it's a lot easier and for now we do have the old tires here you guys can see all four of them, we keep all of those original parts for when we do uh, end up selling it, but why don't we bring this back over there, but wow, I would have to say just by putting these bigger wheels and tires, they lifted up the uh, Gladiator probably about an inch at the very least here. Now, it will be probably a little bit of a louder ride, but that's a-okay. I actually really want to take this uh, rock climbing and off-roading once it's completely finished here. But for now, we'll just kind of get this parked in here right about there. And let's hop back in the awesome hoverboard. Now the big box in there is the bed cover and those ramps. We'll have to get going on that soon, but let's see if we get to organizing. There's so many things we have to get organized in here, and it's just sometimes you want to push tasks like this, uh, keep pushing it off, but I think we better do it before the t uh, temperatures keep dropping, because we do need more and more space. Now let's see, can we get this door open? Now I have noticed the doors just keep end up getting uh, kind of stuck here, so let's see what we can do. See if we could just kind of roll some of these out like this. And what I'm thinking is I really want to put that uh, right along this wall here. So let's see if we can kind of get it all unloaded. And that vacuum, we actually got to bring back 
uh, to the main garage area for now. I really want to vacuum the Porsche and also the wife's SUV. So we'll just leave that in there and let's just double check really quickly. I'm going to hop uh, this out here and I really want to see exactly where it's going to kind of unfold here because this is pretty neat. And let's see, just to double check we're doing it right. We don't want it to kind of go right through the wall here on us. We'll move this into place and we'll be able to put some things up top as well, which will come in pretty handy. Let's get on this. Look at this, guys pretty cool shelf I will have to say that is just so awesome here it is completely finished I will have to say that it did come out a lot better than what I was even thinking it to be here so what we'll do is let's see if we could just organize some of these put uh, some under the shelf some on the side of it just want to be as organized as possible will really just help us maximize our space in here as well and what I'm thinking let's see can we get these mower decks up on the shelf sometimes they work uh, sometimes they don't here now that top shelf I'm not sure if we could really fit anything up there uh, but we'll have to see and the mower deck will just leave down there definitely doesn't want to go up top uh, which is no problem this uh, bag catcher we could probably put down below just won't clear it so we'll probably put it in this corner here the more organized we are, the more things we could fit in here. And I just like having a nice organized area when we are done here. So it looks like this shelf is moving just a little bit, uh, but these things uh, can go up here on the shelf. I don't think we'll have a bit of a problem, but I have noticed some things do try to kind of shift around on the shelf, but oh yeah, it's working pretty good so far. Now let me know down below in the comments guys, do you also like to be organized here? I do know that it is always tricky to kind of stay organized here. Now up next, let's see if we could save a little bit of space here by tipping up this cart on this end here. We don't really use this too much, but when we do, uh, we'll definitely just kind of get it out and we should be able to tip it back just like this. Perfect. Actually, let's see, can we lean it up against the wall? And it definitely doesn't want to be leaned up against the wall here. So for now, we'll just put it under the shelf there. So that gives us a lot more room. And then this mower deck, we'll just slide behind this one here. And perfect. So you guys can see making really good progress. We'll just move this tractor. And I do have the bucket fully working on this now as well, which is awesome. All right, so we got that put away there. Let's just kind of roll the dirt bike. And yeah, we'll just kind of roll it right along the wall, kind of back side here. It saves us a little bit of space. We'll top on the three-wheeler and rip it around the yard and have some fun. Now, we did put a new engine in this, I would say probably three, four months ago, and it's been running good ever since, which is great. Sometimes when you uh, spend all that money, you aren't really sure, and sometimes you even run into more problems, but let's have some fun, and we have six acres of land here. We really want to kind of do more fun things. Now, one thing I have been thinking of, should we build the kids a tree house here? I think a tree house would be so, uh, so much fun here. Let me know down below if you guys would like to see that. Now, I think within the next few weeks, I will have to end up putting the pool cover on. I can't uh, wait uh, to kind of do that. It's a lot of work for the pool, and uh, the kids have been saying it's a little too uh, cool anyways to uh, kind of pop on into it here. But let's kind of put this here for now. Perfect. And the last little thing we really have to do is to roll the trailer back into place. But I will have to say we've done so many things today. It's so awesome to be able to check things right off the list as well. In this trailer, we'll just kind of put back here just like that, a little bit easier uh, to get to as well, and we'll close up the doors. So I think why don't we end today here out with the GT3 here, although I like the Hellcats and we'll be uh, trading it in soon. I don't really see myself driving it too much. I am a big fan of driver's cars like the GT3, like the Porsche lineup and some of the other cars here, but it would be pretty cool maybe uh, to buy maybe an M-Series BMW or something cool like that or maybe in another American car here. But for now, I think that's pretty much it here for today. So I'll run inside, grab the keys, and I think this is where we'll call it a day. But hope you guys enjoyed today's busy day here, organizing the garage, getting the new wheels and tires there for the Gladiator, which looks so awesome. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for next one, and subscribe for more.